So was there a reaction by the crown or the, and the aristocracy to the publication of this book? Uh, there, we know of no immediate uh, negative reaction. Uh, indeed, there isn't much of a reaction in England at all, and indeed, Moore doesn't seem to have cared very much about what readers in England thought. He cared much more about what the friends he knew by his correspondence network and by the correspondence network of his friend, the great humanist Erasmus, in Europe thought, in northern Italy, in Germany, in, in France. Uh, that was where, as it were, the people who really mattered, I think, to Moore uh, lived. And that's why, by the way, that Utopia is, it takes until 1551 for the first English translation to appear from London. Until then, it's published in Basel, in Florence, in Leuven, but not in, not in London. Um, I don't think Moore was in any uh, danger from publishing Utopia. I don't think that the ideas that he expresses were regarded as being... Uh, treasonable or seditious, although there is a implicitly, as I've been trying to argue, a kind of les majeste in the critique of monarchy that Utopia offers. Um, uh, you ask whether the king or the nobles had any reaction to it. Um, uh, one reaction, of course, is that this was a book that came to be taught to people at schools and universities and has remained taught really ever since. People have been reading Utopia in university since it was published, I think. Uh, but when... It, so it's clearly read and enjoyed, and it provokes thoughts. But when exam questions, so to speak, are set on it, and we know this because we have them from the 17th century, they always take for granted that, ultimately, this place is absurd and impossible, and its uh, critique of private property, above all, renders it utterly farcical. Uh, however, there was an edge to the publication of Utopia in Moore's own lifetime, because, of course, I've naturally said nothing whatsoever about the uh, consequences for Moore's life of the Reformation, because this is a book published in 1516, before anyone in Europe had heard of Martin Luther, except a few people at Wittenberg. Um, but uh, one of the things, one of the nice things that happens uh, when the Reformation is arriving in England is that um, uh, copies of the Bible, the English Tyndall Bible, translated into English uh, and printed entirely illegally and then even more illegally, shipped from Antwerp where the, they were printed in English to England. Uh, some copies of that book say on their title page that they are printed in Utopia. So Moore's enemies got the joke as well, and that perhaps also helps explain why in later life Moore is on record as saying that he would be happy to have burned his darlings, by which he includes Utopia. <laughs>